worried about your child's high energy levels, the Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Support Group of South Africa advises that you follow these 10 steps before resorting to medication for ADHD. Make sure your child is getting enough water. Maintaining stable sugar levels is key to brain health. Excess white sugar and refined carbohydrates can lead to low IQ, bad behavior, depression, eating disorders, and learning disabilities. The human brain on average consists of 80% water. The dry weight of the brain is 60% fat. And these should be good fats rather than bad fats. Know the difference. You may need to supplement your child's diet with vital nutrients such as B vitamins, omega-3, calcium, magnesium and antioxidants. Exercise, a good diet and a stable home environment are important in keeping stress levels low. Is your child getting enough sleep with a regular bedtime? Adequate sleep is vitally important for brain health. Regular bowel movement is important for long-term colon health. 90% of serotonin is manufactured in the colon. Insufficient serotonin can cause depression and anxiety. Test for food allergies. 90% of children with ADHD are likely to have food allergies. The most common foods can be tested using the food sensitivity test profile. ADHD is often hereditary. If your child's treatment isn't going well and you feel you've tried everything, further testing, such as genetic testing, may be an option. And finally, stay calm and positive. As a parent, your attitude greatly affects your child's emotional and physical health. Use behavior therapy to reward good behavior. Children with ADHD respond particularly well to systems of rewards and consequences. Make sure you offer enough praise and encouragement to boost your child's self-confidence. For more information, contact the Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Support Group of South Africa. The details are on your screen. Making your health matter. I'm Kathy Mothasana.